students in, uh, man, this school in Wisconsin. Talk about white folks losing their damn mind. Uh, uh, so, so there's a picture that I'm going to pull up in a second, y'all. There's a picture of a group of white high school students in Baraboo High School, 60 miles north of Madison, giving a Nazi salute on the steps of a county courthouse. It went viral over the weekend. I was taken last spring. The photographer says he asked them to wave to their parents and defended the picture. One student who was there and did not raise his hand said the girls have a similar group picture and they were not asked to wave. Mm -hmm. now, it has been condemned by Jewish groups mm -hmm. and their school and investigation by the school and law enforcement has started. Um, Y'all, really? And you wonder how you get Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. Where did power come from? I mean, this is the only beautiful thing. Here, go to my this iPad. Is this is the photo here, right here, folks. This is the photo. Uh, and so you you see them. I was you see them. Unbelievable. Okay. Now, you see this guy in the middle. That ain't waving at your mom and daddy. Okay. You see some person with a fight with with the fist sign as well. Uh, but again, they thought it was cute. What I also don't see the only black in this photo are the suits they're wearing. Mm. Uh, again, um, and so, and so uh, <laughs> Didi, this this ticked a lot of people off and. Now the school is like, oh, hell, what are we going to do about this here? Well, the parents of the students, they need to teach them some home training and understand that that type of symbol is not something that you do. Yeah, just saying, I not mean, not the symbol, America, don't kind of go well with the flag. Absolutely not. They don't go together at all. Well, this is an example of being set from the top by President uh, Trump. You know, right. he was talking about nationalism the other day. You know, those are echoes of, of uh, what was going on during the Holocaust. Those types of things are setting the example for these young high school kids. These kids were wrong in what they did. They have to understand their history and the context of what they were doing, but they absolutely <coughs> knew what they were doing. And you juxtapose that picture with the young woman in Texas with their feet on the, on the thing. <laughs> Who should you be calling the cops? Who should be, where is the intervention actually needed? It's definitely not with the woman with her feet on the And notice there's one white guy to the far right of the picture, who's not smiling, not saluting, and he said that he didn't do it because he knew it was wrong. You mean this guy right at the top? Mm -hmm. yes. No, he's talking about the, oh, I thought right. you were talking about the guy in the right front. There. Yeah. And there's also a guy at the front on the very and bottom. And he spoke, and he spoke out that, that it was not funny, that he knew it was bad, that they all knew it was bad, and they did it anyway. So it's very important for us to understand this is not, quote, some confused kids. They meant, they meant to do this anti-Semitic, hateful gesture. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, only a couple of people in here, again, one guy, only one isn't smiling, but you have a couple of people who are trying to figure out, like, what they're doing. But uh, now they're going to have to answer for that. All right, folks, heard me talk about our friends at Transatlantic Real Estate who created a unique investment opportunity that combines legal marijuana and crowdfunding. And now, of course, you can be an investor, and there's never been a better opportunity to get in the game. Transatlantic Real Estate, what they're going to offer is a business model that's very easy to understand. They buy land that supports marijuana grow operations and lease it to licensed high-paying tenants. Uh, invest as little as 300 bucks up to $10,000. Now listen, you must complete and confirm your application to participate in this opportunity. If you want to invest, go to marijuanastock.org. You certainly want to get in the game and do it right now.